Do you speak English? Can you tell me where the train station is? Oh, we're in the train station. Gotcha. Up the stairs. Over that way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Join us as we take our first bullet train to Osaka. We visit the Dotenbori District Osaka Castle and taste some of the local cuisine. Subscribe if you're enjoying the movies. We're having a lot of fun making them. So we're on car number five. Shin Osaka is where our tickets are to. to our tiny abode. Don't know where the lights are for here. Shower. Toilet. Bodet. How are we doing, honey? <laughs> it's a movie. You could say something. It's a double bed. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So here we're about to put money in a vending machine. It will give us a couple of tickets and the guy in the booth will know what we want to eat based on the tickets. You're also paying for it at the same time. So by the time you get to the booth, basically he sees your tickets, he serves your food and on you go. So you can see the little octopus hanging out there. So they give you these little sticks to eat them. You just stick the stick in there. And I'm going to wait a minute because they look kind of hot. Very seafoody. And hot. You're supposed to pop the whole thing in your mouth with the I, stick. Yeah, it's too, too hot. hot isn't yeah, it? we'll wait a minute. So my little Takanaki ball 
Here goes nothing. Really delicious. Chewy little squid in there. Octopus. I love to say a little prayer at the shrines that we find amidst the hustle and the bustle. There's our hotel right down there, past that pink sign. And towards Vic Camera, which sells just about everything, I think. Booze, groceries, weight loss stuff, any kind of camera lens you can think of, any kind of camera you can think of. <laughs> Were you panicked, honey? It was on four. The uh, six on three. These plastic curtains around these very small, sometimes five chair bars and restaurants are pretty common here. They like to kind of sit outdoors and uh, the plastic keeps the weather bearable. It's not unusual to see lines like this where people are staying outside waiting to eat at a particular restaurant that they like or is popular. Uh, sometimes for an hour or more. It's uh, crazy, but you see it all over. And then there'll be restaurants three stops down that are empty. I don't get it. The swastika is an ancient religious and cultural symbol of divinity and spirituality used in Buddhism today. Picture what? That mural on the door. So it's pretty easy to find puffer fish for sale here. Place me at lunch yet today serves it. Here you are sampling food through the wonders of plastic. Yay. Wanna go see what the British pub has to offer? Fish and chips? Sure. Hi. Two. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. 
Kieran, typical Japanese kid. Eh, nani go na? 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 So we ran. Okay, so we have a problem here, and I've reported it to the hotel desk. But that creepy guy over there with the two sticks, he's staring right into our room. Now, later on, when I bring the hotel guest, the hotel manager up, he will be facing the other way. Guaranteed, because that's what happened last time I explained. It was kind of embarrassing to bring the guy all the way up here. He was turned around. So he actually spins and at night he's lit up. So here's a nighttime view of this thing. It spins uh, 180, maybe more, I'm not sure. But uh, it spins day and night. It's only illuminated, of course. But I thought it was kind of interesting. Very creepy. Oh, and that yellow Ferris wheel thing has a loose of there. Hope they got everybody off before they shut it down. Here's a quick update. He's staring at me again. He's using the other eye. He is tricky. You take your eye off him for one second and he moves. Reminds me of an episode of Doctor Who where the angels only attacked if you looked away or closed your eyes. Very creepy. Okay. I'll let you know if he's around. Yeah, I know. We just saw that. Is it just the exit or the metro one? Okay, we just went on a four hour walk in the subway and literally exited right in front of our hotel. Never did find the train we needed. Train so now we're trying a cab. We'll see how this works. Could be a million dollars, could be five bucks, we don't know. Watch for my blue sticks. Because I stopped, put everything down right where those bikes are. You think it's sitting there still? You want to jump out and look? No. I'm gonna. Kathy's on the hunt for this little jar of blue sticks. She sat on in some store somewhere, so she's checking all the stores to find a one dollar bottle of Blistex because they don't sell it here. So she's desperate. Chapstick won't do. We could have walked to the castle. Literally. The amount of effort we put in downstairs. This is the castle that was built in the 1500s, refurbished in 1997, I believe. And it was the tallest castle ever built at the time. And now it's also the most modern castle in Japan. And this stonework is just crazy amazing here. With this moat. Unbelievably beautiful. So you can get an idea how tall they were if you go up to those holes. Yeah. They'd be a lot lower than you'd want them. This is Osaka Castle, located in the heart of Osaka. The land of many stairs.
So this is an old well, the base of the castle. What do you think, honey? Wow, really glad we came. It wasn't looking good when we left the hotel and spent an hour trying to find a subway. Yeah, it took us as long to walk around the train station as the old four did. <laughs> They had some good pieces in there, but you weren't supposed to photograph those, I think. Yeah, see the tentacles coming down? So this is the largest stone here. It's called the octopus stone. This gentleman... 400 years ago. 400? 400 years. Wow. It transferred from Seto. Wow. So their doors open automatically here and you just hook yourself in there and you're good to go. Thank you. Until Spider-Man's been here, look at his web. Now we got our own little spatula to attack this thing with. Okay, turn that off for now. He didn't give me the cut sign. No egg salad for you. <laughs> really? Oops, you didn't press the button. Why didn't you? I don't know. You're busy thinking I'm gonna really put her up and fart in her face. I didn't fart in your face. <laughs> No, just this little cubicle. <laughs> it's the next guy that's gonna suffer, believe me. Well, thanks for joining us in Osaka. If you think what we're doing is worthwhile, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching the video, and have a great day.